Welcome to this quick demo on how to leverage custom jar files on a ServiceNow mid server. A mid server is a small Java service that runs on a computer within your network. Every few seconds, it'll make an outbound web service call to your ServiceNow instance to query for any work that we wish to have it perform. Once it finds a job assigned to it, it's going to execute the job and send another outbound message to ServiceNow to provide it with the results that it got from that job. A mid-server can do a number of out-of-the-box jobs, such as SOAP requests, JDBC database calls, shell script executions, and even discovery tasks. One mid-server feature that stands out from the rest is its ability to consume and execute code from custom jar files that are placed on the mid-server itself. This allows us the ability to integrate with older systems that may not have a web service or database API. In this demo, I'm going to show the ability of the mid server to consume any type of jar file by setting up a situation in which we want to do something that is totally unrelated to traditional ITSM. We will leverage a customized word search puzzle program that I wrote in Java to allow the ServiceNow instance to ask the mid server to generate a word search puzzle based on a spe specified string of comma separated words. First, we need to provide the mid server with the Java jar file that contains my word search code. In order to load a Java jar file on the mid server, you simply log into your ServiceNow instance and browse to the mid server application. Inside the application, you'll find a module titled jar files. To load the jar file, we give it an arbitrary name and version. We can also provide other metadata about the jar file, such as source or description, if we wish. We will then attach the actual jar file to the record and click Submit. Once the jar file is loaded into the ServiceNow instance, the various mid servers in the system will see that a new jar file exists. They will in turn download the jar file and load the jar library into its system so that it can be leveraged in the future. You may find any custom jar files on the mid server in its extlib directory just off of the main mid server folder. Looking at my Java code, you'll see that there is a word search client class with a method called get puzzle from words. You simply pass a comma separated string into the function. Once you do so, you will get an auto generated word search puzzle for your enjoyment. Let's try out our Java code from the ServiceNow instance. There are a number of ways to call the Java code on the mid server, but they all boil down to an entry on the ECC queue. We will create a JavaScript probe record on the ECC queue that will trigger the generation of our word search puzzle. The JavaScript probe request is triggered by creating a new output queue record on the ECC queue table. The record should specify the agent or mid server performing the action. The topic should be set to JavaScript probe. The name field is optional, but can be filled in to describe the action performed by the uh, JavaScript probe. The payload field will be the XML document that contains a script parameter where we will call into the Java code on the mid server using package calls. Let's type a simple JavaScript probe within the payload XML. In order to do that, we create an element called parameters. Inside of that XML element, we will create a new element called parameter. And we'll give that parameter a name attribute of script. This tells the mid server to execute the following script. The script will be contained in the value attribute. Inside the value attribute, we're going to make a packages call inside the jar file and instantiate the word search client class. Once we've instantiated that class, we're going to call the get puzzle from words method and pass in a comma separated string. The string we'll use is service now makes heroes out of 
Information Technology Professionals. Okay, then we close everything up. Now we submit this record and wait for the proper response from the mid-server. The mid-server will respond with a corresponding input record. Now if we open up that record and look into the payload field, there we will find the word search puzzle that was generated by our custom Java code. There you go. Consuming a custom jar file from the mid-server is as easy as that.